Copper is environmentally friendly due to its fantastic electrical and thermal conductivity and being 100% recyclable. Copper is infinitely recyclable without losing its properties or qualities. About 75% of all copper is made from recycled copper. And the remaining 25% is used to create wires due to necessity only. Both recycling copper and using recycled copper helps reduce pollution. Benefits of Copper Recycling There is a positive environmental impact whenever a material can be diverted from a landfill and reused. Copper is a metal mined by crushing hard rock ore and separating the metal from the rock through a process called smelting. This process requires huge amounts of energy for the heavy equipment and a large amount of water and produces toxic waste byproducts. Recycled copper can help reduce the number of active mines, environmental devastation, and decrease CO2 emissions from long-distance transport of both raw and refined copper. Is it better to use recycled or mined copper? According to experts, only 12 to 13 percent of the world's copper has been mined, so you may be wondering why there's such a strong focus on recycling it. This is because recycling copper uses between 10 and 15 percent of the energy that mining copper does, reducing carbon emissions and therefore safeguarding the environment. Copper is 100 percent worth recycling. Copper that's been recycled is worth up to 90 percent of the original metal. As well as helping the environment by avoiding landfill, recycling copper helps reduce the cost of new copper products. Copper is most often recycled by melting it down and turning it into smaller copper pellets that can then be smelted and formed into new materials. Copper wire coated in plastic insulation is recycled by cutting it into smaller bits and removing the plastic through an electromagnetic process. Once the plastic is separated, the remaining metal is melted and reformed for its new purpose. This furnace is used to refine scrap copper. Components Furnace body, hydraulic system, oxidation reduction system, DC motor driving system, combustion system, electric control system. The process of the refining by the tilting refining furnace is three steps. 1. Oxidation and slagging. Inject compressed air into the molten copper liquid to make metal impurities oxidize to form slag. 2. Deslagging. Manual delagging through delagging door. 3. Reduction. Inject natural gas into the copper liquid to make replacement reaction to restore copper.
Aluminium Recycle Aluminium is a resource that forms about 8% of the Earth's crust. It is mined and extracted from bauxite, which contains the compound alumina, in an energy-intensive electrolytic process. 4 tons of bauxite contains 2 tons of alumina, which yields 1 ton of valuable aluminium. Aluminium is the most cost-effective material to recycle, using around only 5% of the energy and emissions needed to make it from the raw material bauxite. In addition, all the scraps left over from the aluminium production process can be melted down and used again and again. For this reason, recycling is part of the normal life cycle for large industrial products, around 75% of all the aluminium ever made is still in circulation. An aluminium can is 100% recyclable because there are no labels or covers that need to be removed. Recycling just one aluminium can save enough energy to power a TV set for three hours. Scrap aluminum cans are compressed into blocks and transported to the recycling plant. Aluminium cans are shredded, removing any colored coating. One of the best available technology for aluminum scrap cleaning and decoding by continuous thermal pyrolysis. Rotating kiln with indirect heating system, via central radiant tube and counter flow recirculation system. Post combustion chamber with gas heating equipment for oxidation and incineration of the pyrolytic gases. Internal pressure and oxygen control. Recirculation system with intermediate cyclone for fines collection. Advantages. Improves the quality of metal. Excellent decoding of aluminium scraps. Minimum energy consumption by reusing the energy released when gyring pyrolytic gases. They are then melted in a huge furnace and the molten metal is poured into ingot casts to set. Each ingot can be made into around 1.5 million cans. Steel is an iron alloy, meaning it is made up of a combination of metals and nonmetals including carbon, iron, and tin. Like most metals, including aluminum, copper, and brass, steel can be continuously recycled without any damage or degradation to its properties, no matter the product or form it takes. After being collected by scrappers in person, at designated drop-offs, or at buyback centers, steel scrap is then sorted and sent out to mills or foundries. Wide and thick scrap steel sheets are shredded using a powerful hydraulic cutting machine system. The excess steel scrap is then melted down by a furnace that runs at a temperature of nearly 3000 degrees, and purified to rid the scrap of any contaminants. Then, the melted steel is solidified and prepped for shipping. The newly recycled metal is then ready to be sent out to various factories for use as raw material, and the cycle begins again. Steel is one of the most utilized metals in the world, making up everything from the tallest skyscrapers to your everyday kitchen utensils. Steel has driven technological growth and advancement through the industrial age and continues to fuel innovation today, with over 1,950,500,000 tons produced in 2021 alone. Steel 
has an extremely high turnover rate of recycled products in both the steel itself and byproducts used in its production process. Nearly 69% of steel is recycled in the US each year, and that number grows when looking at specific steel goods. In the end, steel recycling efforts save 75% of the overall energy used in production from raw materials. This has huge benefits in the fight to save natural resources and prevent excess greenhouse gas emissions. When using recycled materials for production, manufacturers drastically reduce the price of production costs. Steel allows for the use of completely reused materials instead of going through the costly procedure of extracting raw ore from the ground.